Fable in Focus, a program that gives you an inside look at what's happening within your city of Fable government. Each episode features stories of interest, highlighting city services, and helps to keep you informed of new programs and upcoming events. I'm Gab McRoberts with the Corporate Communications Department for the City of Fable. In today's episode, we'll take a look at the budget process and the importance of government transparency and citizen engagement. The foundation that supports successful local democratic government is transparency. The reason why transparency is so important for local government is if we want citizens to be actively engaged and help inform their policymakers, say a city council or a county commission, those citizens need to have timely and accurate information so that they can understand the issues that confront their local government. That's why transparency is so important. If we expect citizens to be engaged, we need to provide them the information they need to be engaged. And as times have changed, how people have stayed informed, so has government's needs to adapt. Today, there are many different ways to find out what your local government's doing without waiting to read about it in the local paper. The way people get information now is more digital, and so it's important that we provide open data sources to citizens so they can consume that information the traditional way through newspaper and other media, but also through new media, social media, and electronically. One of the times a city's transparency can be seen is during budget season when city staff prepares annual budgets to present to the council. Each year, staff prepares the annual budget, which provides funding for salaries and day-to-day -day operations for the upcoming fiscal year. Staff bases the budget on guidance from the city council and presents the budget during city council meetings to both the council and the public. During public hearings, citizens can share their thoughts about the proposed budget. Once all the budget revisions have been made and the budget has been finalized, council will then take a vote on approving the budget. During the entire process, the proposed budget documents, along with changes and video and audio recordings from budget meetings, are posted on the Budget Chronicles page located on the city's website. But with large projects such as new building construction, the City of Fables uses capital project ordinances for funding the projects, which is separate from the annual budget. Capital project ordinances will fund projects in different categories, including general government, public safety, recreation, economic development, and transportation. The city is very transparent when it comes to our capital projects, as we do with all of our um, finances here at the city. Um, the city uses a separate capital project ordinance for each individual project that is authorized by city council. Those ordinances clearly identify uh, and authorizes the capital project to be undertaken. Um, they identify the revenues um, that will finance the project and make the appropriations necessary for the project. Um, the ordinance identifies each revenue source and specifies the amount from each one of the areas that will be spent on the project. For instance, we have intergovernmental revenues, federal and state grant fundings, um, and then transfers from other funds. The ordinances are provided to the council along with the action memo explaining to them um, the purpose of the capital project and they are all published in the council's agenda and they are also televised um, on our Monday night council meetings. With capital project ordinances, there's also a way to make changes if the need arises. During the performance period of any capital project, it may be become necessary to process an amendment. The scope of the project may change um, just to meet the project's goals, and we understand that. At the end of every fiscal year, City Council receives the latest status updates for all open capital projects. There is additional um, transparency. Not only do we present our capital project ordinances to council along with the action memo explaining exactly any kind of background information and the funding sources and, and so forth. Um, annually, our capital project funds are presented in our financial statements. So each one of those five functional areas have a capital project fund financial statement. And within those financial statements, you'll be able to see the project authorization, which is the budget that council adopted, and you'll be able to see those expenditures inception to date. Um, because they are multi-year, it does take some time to get through our capital projects. And you'll be able to see those in our audited financial statements every year, which is very transparent to our council and to our citizens. Whether it's staying informed by watching city council meetings on Fay TV 7, visiting city hall to read all of the budget documents, or downloading budget documents on your home computer, 
there are many ways for citizens to stay engaged. If you're engaged, you can help shape the policy. You can help make sure that the government is responsive to your needs. We get the government we deserve, and an engaged citizenry gets a great government. This will wrap up this episode of Fable and Focus. We hope you find this episode informative and educational. And as always, you can watch this and other videos at FayTV7.com. If there's a topic or a video segment you'd like to see on FayTV7, go to FayvilleOutFront.com and share your feedback with us. I'm Guy Mac Roberts for FayTV7, and thank you for watching.